Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. And liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery with the Hubble Space Telescope, our window on the universe. On April 24, 1990, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope rode to space aboard Space Shuttle Discovery on a mission to do just that, discover. The results over the past 25 years have been nothing short of remarkable. We knew that this was going to be an important mission. We didn't know how important. None of us thought that people would be rewriting textbooks the way that they continue to do even today. The storied and historic journey into the cosmos that Hubble's eyes have taken us on has led to groundbreaking discoveries, captivated imaginations, and given humans a better understanding of our place in the universe. Humanity's always looked out there to the heavens to get the meaning of the hope of the life here. You see, it's that kind of, that kind of gap that you're, you're bridging. So people understood that about Hubble before we carried it up there. Because of the work of the Hubble, along comes the next generation, which is the James Webb, which will take us farther, see more, learn more than any other space telescope. NASA's celebration of Hubble's silver anniversary included a variety of events. Administrator Charlie Bolden, other agency officials, and representatives from the Space Telescope Science Institute were on hand for the unveiling of the official Hubble 25th anniversary image at the museum in Washington. A short distance away, many of the astronauts, scientists, engineers, technicians, educators, and others who have contributed to Hubble's success were honored at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum. NASA Glenn Research Center employees and the Cleveland Site Center helped visually impaired students experience Hubble with a variety of tactile-based activities. And the Hubble experience is also available in 3D, with the IMAX movie Hubble 3D playing at select theaters through April. And with downloadable files available at NASA's 3D Resources site, you can 3D print your own Hubble model. For details, go to http colon forward slash forward slash nasa3d.arc.nasa.gov. NASA also participated in events and activities celebrating our home planet in observation of the 45th annual Earth Day on April 22nd, including the Global Citizen 2015 Earth Day event at the Washington Monument. The event featured NASA exhibits and hands-on activities, a message from the International Space Station, views of Earth from space, and NASA Administrator Charlie Bolden on the concert stage with entertainer Will I Am discussing how NASA uses the unique vantage point of space to better understand Understand our home planet. I want everybody to walk out of here having heard the many stories that came from around the globe and know that they can make a difference, but it takes every single one of us doing some one little thing. Earth Day activities at Washington's Union Station on April 22nd featured NASA Associate Administrator for Science John Grunsfeld and Chief Scientist Ellen Stofan. The event also included imagery shown on NASA's Hyperwall, science gallery exhibits, and hands on demonstrations. The first 3D printed full-scale copper rocket engine part manufactured at Marshall Space Flight Center is a milestone and potential cost saver. The properties of copper make it an ideal material for some engine parts, but the material is challenging to work with when using the 3D printing or additive manufacturing process. Successfully using this technology could reduce the time and cost of making rocket engine parts. So far, only a handful of copper rocket engine parts have been made with additive manufacturing. The annual Human Exploration Rover Challenge took place recently at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. The two-day event, managed by Marshall Space Flight Center, challenges students to design, build, test, and race lightweight and human-powered vehicles, both as a research project and to investigate and test technologies that could potentially be used on future deep space exploration missions. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov.